entire PBS, entire will. And what do I got to lose at this point? What do, I mean, even if I lose, what do I got to lose? I don't know. You tell us. I mean, I think that obviously, maybe could you lose your life? I mean, you know, Will still has yeah. one. Oh, 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 oh. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies oh, and gentlemen, oh, did we just oh, see what we just saw live on Sports Wire Radio, oh, where all oh, wrestling matters? It looks like the psychotic freak has been jumped from behind, and it's the unmarried, it's a masked man who's just brutally attacking psychotic freaking psychotic freak. Oh my god, psychotic freak has been thrown around all over the place. Somebody stop this. Oh my goodness, psychotic freak is down. Huh? Does that look like I think, ladies and gentlemen, does that it looks like um, it's a it's somebody with a hood, it's a hooded person, and we quite haven't seen who they are just yet. But this is certainly one for the ages on Sports Wire Radio, and it's still happening. And psychotic freak is down for the count. And it looks like, ladies and gentlemen, do I think who I think it is? Wait a minute. No, we still we still don't know. And psychotic freak is down. He is out. And ladies and gentlemen. Is that who I think it is? Wait a minute. Is that wait, wait, wait? Is that one half of the LBYW tag team champions and the current interstate champion Nate Dog? Nate Dog, what a way to make an entrance on Sportswire Radio. I think you heard enough and you broke into Psychotic Freak's house and yep. he's down for the count, and maybe you're the one that put his head under the ground and what do you have to say all about this champ oh uh, yeah talking all that crap so you know sick all this shit he's talking about so i broke in his house so and beat him up was a message sent you heard enough and you couldn't take it anymore you heard all night psychotic freak complaining about the general manager chris ruda psychotic freak complaining all night about pbs complaining all night about Scary Terry being the first person in the golden ticket ladder match, and especially all the things he recently just said about you. And it sounds like to me, Nate Dog, you had enough. And like I said, it didn't matter about Chris Aruda. It didn't matter about what happened with Scary Terry. It didn't matter about PBS and the Wilster, certainly, or even Showtime. You decided that enough was enough, and you mm -hmm. weren't going to take it. And you decided to take it to Psychotic Freak like nobody else has done. And maybe you gave him, for those that are listening and watching on Sportswire Radio, where all wrestling matters, a dose of his own medicine, champ. Yes, sir. Well, you know what? I've got some, some news here because there are people commenting. And stay with us here because Psychotic Freak, he might need some help. Somebody might want to call 911. Maybe not call 911 because you're there. And I don't think if I'm an ER, I don't think if I'm near an ambulance bed to go give one, I would certainly head back over to, to the next town over in North Dakota. Because looking at what Nate Dog did tonight, I would certainly want to be as far away from the house of Psychotic Freak. Because with Nate Dog here and everything that he's looking at, look at this man. Look at the sadistic man that he is right now. I mean, certainly forget about medical attention. Forget about help. Psychotic freak, maybe you shouldn't bother to show up in this match here coming up at Golden Ticket. But I've got some comments here. First of all, our buddy Michael Christian, who was also witness to an attack, not by him on Saturday's show, by another person. But he says, hello, hello, Rev. Mr. Freak, we may need to have a conversation. But, well, there's no conversations right now with the psychotic freak. Because right now, he's down for the count, and he might be down for a 1,000. And management has said what we've all just said here. What the Jesus is going on here? What in the hell is happening in God's name? And it looks like our general manager has commented, and he says, okay, I got something planned for these two. Are you concerned about that right now? Or do you even think that the psychotic freak will even make it to Golden Ticket? Uh, I don't think so, man. That's what that beat up right, right here. No, I don't think so. Yeah, he ain't getting up anytime nah, soon. He is down nah. for the count. He is out. And and uh, it looks like here even Mrs. Aruda wants to say, boo, Nate Dog, you suck. But you know what? I think it's safe to say before I let you have a few more thoughts before, well, we sign off and allow Psychotic Freak to maybe have his last rights, that you had enough and you gave Psychotic Freak maybe the worst taste of his own medicine anybody could give. And 
you know, what do you want to say to the audience right now watching and listening? We have 42 people out there right now watching. What do you want to say to those people? All I got to say is that golden ticket, I am retaining my uh, interstate title. And Chris is psychotic freak. It ain't going to stop me at all. And all the haters could go away, you know. Do you think that psychotic freak should just stay down for the rest of the count and not decide to show up to Golden Ticket and, and that maybe that would be the best advice suited for him? Yeah, he should not show up at all. He just needs to, you know, stay home or just stay in the hospital the whole time he's there. Will you visit him? No. So we should say maybe we should get last rites out there. You know, I'm a reverend, actually, after all, so I could maybe perform those last rites, actually. So if that's something you actually might want, you know, we could maybe do that 